Thank you very much. I had um, a speech prepared by uh, Kellyanne Conway and Bob Lefsitz, but I, I dropped it in the car on the way here, so I'm just going to wing it. It's okay. When I was uh, younger, when I was about 14 or so, my brother Joe um, was kind enough to sell me a uh, four-track reel-to-reel and a Tascam mixer from my bedroom. And he was the first to sort of show me engineering techniques, which at that time consisted of bass and treble knobs. <laughs> um, but that, uh, in, the, in that bedroom, uh, uh, I learned a lot about how to do things under restriction, do things on four track and bounce back and forth, record something and erase it. If it wasn't good enough, you erase it and it was gone forever, which is something I think uh, it's, it's uh, becoming few and far between in the, in the newer generation where you can record a million times and just keep all of them. Uh, I still work that way. And uh, that kind of restriction, I think, is really important. Um, I wanted to say before I, I left, I don't want to take too much time, but I wanted to say uh, thanks to some people who inspired me as a producer and engineer over the years. Um, before I say that, I want to say thanks to Vance Powell and Josh Smith and uh, all the engineers who I've worked with over the years. Um, but uh, particularly over the years, uh, Les Paul and his techniques of recording and uh, the inventions he came up with with double tracking. He was pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I want to also say a little bit of a story. I'll, I'll go back and forth for a second. But there's, you know, recording under duress is kind of interesting. Our, the second album we made with the White Stripes, we recorded in uh, my living room uh, on an eight track reel to reel. And uh, so I was sort of setting up the microphones and, and have, had the mixers going. And then we were also performing at the same time. So at one point during the album, we were doing a cover of Sun House's Death Letter. And um, I had went over to the mixing board, and uh, Meg had done a, a, gave me the drum volume, and I'd set it, and we pressed record, and turned around, and we started playing. And we're playing for about a minute, and Meg uh, stops and has this fear of God look in her face like this. She's completely frozen, and I'm still playing, and I don't understand what's going on. And I said, what? what? I stopped and said, what? And she didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't know what's going on. I turned around and there was a 300 pound drunk man standing behind me in my living room <laughs> who had just been walking down the street and walked in to the house. When you record under that kind of duress in Detroit, <laughs> I think you really learn a lot about constriction. And... But uh, I agree with something that Michael Jackson said once, that it's not, you know, you're an, uh, it's, you're an antenna and it's all about letting God in the room. And I also believe personally that you let the music tell you what to do. You don't tell the music what to do. It's not an ego trip. You're not in control. You sit there and you set up a scenario and the music tells you what your actions should be, especially when you're helping other people. Producers are not supposed to just tell people what to do. You're supposed to bring out the best in them. And if you can't bring out anything in them, there's nothing you can add to it, then you shouldn't take the job. You know, it should be about what you can add to it. So um, also, in, uh, besides Les Paul, I want to uh, say a lot of gratitude to Don Gallucci, who produced uh, the Fun House's, the Fun House album, uh, Suge's second album, Fun House. Uh, he also was in the Kingsman and recorded on Louis Louis with three microphones. And um, I, don't, I don't know what else he ever produced, but uh, I'm glad what, he did that record. That means a lot to me. And um, also, I have to say a big thank you to, I think a lot of people don't know this, but some of you in this room probably do how important it was that Bing Crosby took money out of his own wallet and contributed to pr the production of making analog tape machines to progress this entire uh, industry forward. And that's about building bridges and carrying out for the next generation. I think we should build bridges instead of walls, especially right now. So Thanks to the Grammys, thanks to everybody, thanks to Neil, thank you to everyone in the village. I, I, I really appreciate this. This is an embarrassing honor. I, I'm, I'm sorry you had to endure any of this talk for me.